John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City location. Today, yet another installment to our new inventory video uh, collection here. And now today we're looking at a 1965, uh, this is a Ford Mustang uh, 2 Plus 2 Fastback that we have here. So as you see it sitting here, it is done in its, uh, what we believe is its original color anyways. Uh, this would be a prairie bronze color. So. Um, not something that you see every day, but again, something a little different. And again, the paint looks really good on this car. So paint and body panel fitment and alignment, all very nice here. So as we walk around, we're going to point out to you basically all of the bright work on this car is in great shape. Your chrome bumpers here, both front and rear. You can see that we've got the 289 badging here on the front fenders, which does signify what is underneath the hood on this car. As far as the rest of the badging here, you see the Mustang 2 plus 2, got the little Mustang logo right there. And then wheels and tires, you'll notice that we kept with the uh, original 14 inch uh, wheel size here. Again, these are kind of like your factory rally style wheel for the Mustang almost. Brand new BF Goodrich Radial TA tires here, 205 uh, up front here and 215s on the back. Again, these are 14 inch wheels. Now as we come back, you'll notice the fitment, the uh, gaps on the front side of the door, gaps on the back side of the door, really good. As far as the glass goes on the whole car, all very nice. We'll check that out as we walk around. We do have the driver's side mirror, and again, all of our bright work, the trim and moldings around the windshield, your drip rail moldings, your lower body, your rocker moldings here, all in very good condition. Now let's go ahead and open our door up. Take a look real quick at the inside. This is just your black standard interior. You'll notice the front bucket seats does have the fold down rear seat in it. Carpeting's in great shape. Factory dash and instrumentation, all of which is in a good condition. The factory steering wheel and the automatic center console there. All in very good condition. As we close the door, you'll see the door closes up real nice there. And then we'll walk around. You'll see the, the vents here in your fastback, obviously. Those are functional, by the way. We come around the back side now. Our trunk lid is in great condition. It, it looks as though it fits really great. Your elevations the whole way around here are pretty good as far as the quarter panel to the deck lid fitment. Again, you've got the chrome rear bumper here. Of course, you've got your gas cap back here. Tail light lenses and bezels are all in great shape. Lower balance in good condition too. Now we will open our trunk lid up and we'll take a look inside. Let me get our trunk open. There we go. So of course the lock works as you see. You've got your weather stripping up top here on the trunk lid itself and that's in good condition. The little rubber bump stops here too so that when you slam it down it's not metal on metal so that's good. Your hinges and your spring all work as they should and hold the trunk lid up. Inside, a nice little trunk mat in here. We've got your floor mats in here and a full-size spare in here also on a steel wheel. So all of that is in great shape. Also the sticker on the trunk lid there for the uh, spare tire uh, instructions there. So the trunk lid closes easy. We're going to walk around now the passenger side of the car. So again, you'll check out the, the panels there, the, uh, the lines and everything uh, look really good on this car. Everything lines up, your door again gaps on the passenger side now. You can see those and those look really good. Glass also looks great on this side as well. We'll take a quick look inside here since we're here. Again, your weather stripping up around the top frame of the door there looks to be in great shape. Seat belts in the front of this car too. So again, you just get to see more of that interior, which again, is in great shape. That door shuts very nice. As we walk around now, you've got the matching uh, badging here and emblems the whole way around the car. Of course, you've got your fender mounted antenna there for the radio. And then we'll walk around to the front now where we'll see the rest of that chrome front bumper. Of course, you've got your grill work here that looks all in great condition. Steel hood your gaps and elevations on your hood all look to be very good on the front of this car too and you even have your ford lettering here across the front all of which is in good shape 
Headlights, just your typical sealed beam units, so highs and low beams, all contained within one unit there. So let's go ahead and open up our hood now and see what we have underneath. So with the hood open, you'll see the underside painted that same prairie bronze as the rest of the car. Now underneath the hood, you're going to notice that this pretty much looks all stock appearing. Now as far as we know, with the engine on this car, it's very hard to come out and say whether it's a numbers match motor. Again, back during these uh, year ranges, they didn't necessarily put the VIN number on the blocks. You had a block casting number and a date code on it. So according to the date code, we're going to go with it is a date correct motor. Uh, it is a 289. This is the two valve V8 motor. It's got the original style auto light uh, carburetor on it, stock cast intake. Of course you see the uh, painted valve covers and the painted air cleaner there. Again, this would be your factory style air cleaner here on the car. As far as your ignition accessories, you've got the stock style distributor here and coil mounted up over there. Of course, just a set of aftermarket wires on the car. Power steering, power brakes too. Now this is a uh, four wheel drum brake car, but they are power, so you've got that unit underneath here. Uh, as far as hoses and so forth, everything looks to be in good shape. Stock style radiator in here. We've got a steel four blade cooling fan in here too to help keep things cool. And uh, the you know anything other than that looks to be all kind of factory stock on the car. Now, this motor here is connected to a C4 automatic transmission, which is again what the car would have had originally when it came from the factory. That is also connected to a 9 inch Ford rear end with a 280 gear ratio, which is also what this car would have had from the factory. So we're pretty, uh, pretty certain that we can go with this is probably all the original stuff. But again, without knowing for sure, we can at least say that this is date correct for the motor itself and the rest of the stuff appears to be as though it's the original stuff. So, with that said, uh, that's everything on the outside and on the inside of this car. Now what we'll do is get it up on the rack so we can take a look at the underside for you too. Uh, now, as always, if you're interested in this car or any other car in our inventory, just be sure to give us a call or shoot us an email. Make sure that these cars are still available. As with all of our videos, some of them can be out there for a while and some of these cars may have been sold already. So just check with us and make sure in case you have to travel from a ways away and you need to take a flight in, the closest major airport to us is the Pittsburgh International Airport. Um, you can make arrangements with, with, with them to come out. You can do all your rental car and everything. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get this up on the lift, go through the underside for you next. All right, we have our 1965 Ford Mustang 2 Plus 2 Fastback up here on the lift. So as always, we're going to go through the underside here, point out to you exactly what we're looking at underneath here for components, and uh, then we'll be able to get it down off the lift, of course, and let you hear that engine run. So starting up here at the front of the car, all factory suspension up here, so your upper and lower control arms. That's all your stock suspension up front. As far as steering goes, it is a power steering car. This is just your typical power steering unit here for the Ford Mustang. Uh, to finish off your suspension up front though too, it is a strut rod designed front suspension and you do have the sway bar up front of which your frame mount bushings and your sway bar end links are all in great shape. Ball joints are in great condition too in this car and you can tell that things have been maintained on a regular basis on here. All of your ball joints, the little rubber dust boot covers, those are all intact on this car and everything looks good underneath the front end. Uh, as far as braking system goes, this is power brakes, it's a four wheel uh, drum brake car but everything looks to be in real good condition uh, underneath here and then as far as our drive line, We'll just kind of start with that and walk our way back. Uh, we've got a date correct 289. Uh, this is the Ford Windsor motor that's in this car. Um, that's what this car would have had with it. And we say date correct um, only because it's hard to tell if you can actually call it like a numbers matching motor 
Um, back during this year, they really didn't have them stamped with a number per se. You had to go off the date code, and they're very, very, very close. So date correct is what we're going with, 289, backed up by a C4 automatic transmission. Uh, the little flywheel cover here is intact and on there to help protect that. Your tail shaft mount here or cross member, that's all here. It looks to be in great condition. The mount itself is in good condition too. Of course, we have our drive shaft. It's balanced. And then we have our Ford 9-inch rear here with a 280 gear in that rear end as well. You can see as far as the suspension goes on the back end of the car, we've got the multi-leaf style suspension here. Of course, your shocks, they look to be a newer shock back here too. So that should dampen everything real nice. And as I said before, four-wheel drum brakes on the car. So that's what you see back here. The emergency brake is all intact also. So all of your cables, all of your frame hooks, all of that stuff, it is all here and intact. As far as your floors go now, floors are in great shape. I don't see any patching, any replacement panels whatsoever on here. Everything looks to be in great condition here. You can see all the stamping lines and everything. You can see all the rubber drain plugs here. Those are all intact on both sides. Your pinch welds up along the sides here. Those are in great condition too. Nice and straight the whole way back. Frame sections. Those are all very nice too. Nice and square, not beat up. Nice and straight also. Uh, from the front, also back here, your dog legs that go up over top of the rear end, those are in good condition. Uh, as far as uh, motor transmission rear end, I'm not seeing any leaks that I can uh, point out. Everything looks to be dry underneath here. Fuel tank looks in great condition too. As a matter of fact, it's probably a newer tank the way that it looks. So everything looks great back there. Exhaust work then should be one of the final things to go over. Coming from our stock exhaust cast manifolds, um, we've got the dual exhaust here. You've got your crossover pipe right here. Of course, we have a set of mufflers back here. These look to be kind of like a, a smaller, like a turbo style muffler on the car. Then of course you've got the correct style of tailpipe up over top of the rear end and exiting out the rear of the car. The only other thing then would be your wheels and tires. Now on this car we've got a set of factory style wheels here. These are the chrome, kind of like their rally type wheel. Uh, and these are, and I want to make sure of it, they are a 14 inch wheel front and back. So stayed with the stock sizes. They've got 205, uh, I believe these are 20570 R14s on the front, and then a set of 215 70R14s on the back. So again, that's pretty much it. They are the BF Goodrich Radial TAs. They are brand new, so again, tread and everything looks to be in great condition as it should. And that's pretty much the underside of our 65 Mustang.